Well, hello and welcome to our third week of Advent when we celebrate our living branch. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to our youth service and for anyone else who happens to be tuning in, thank you so much for joining us here at St. John Lutheran Church in Romeo. Um, I would like to welcome you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, as we, I said, it's the, the third week of Advent, and of course, we light our Advent wreath. The Lord is drawing near. This is what we celebrate during this Advent season. As we wait with joyful anticipation for the unfolding of God's plan, it's a time of pure and holy joy. Now, where is our joy? We're so busy, and we have so much to do, and the list can seem kind of long. And there's a lot that we have to do, and it's a lot of pressure for us. So where is the joy? Our joy is in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the promised one, the anointed one. Joy is at the heart of our Advent journey. We live in the confidence that Jesus Christ draws ever nearer to us and that God's peace will guide our hearts and our minds. Now, in just a second... You're going to see a clip inserted right into this video by Megan, our administrator, who does such a fantastic job editing things for us. She's going to put a video in of some of St. John's youth lighting the Advent wreath. And they'll be lighting three candles. Be back in a second. The third candle is called Joy. We are excited about Christmas. The angels said that Jesus' birth was good news and will bring us great joy. Dear God, help us to be joyful. Help us to share the good news of baby Jesus. Amen. Our youth indeed are a great part of our ministry here at St. John, and we cherish each and every one of them who comes to us and for all of the people whose lives they encounter and they share the good news of Jesus Christ with them. And of course, we thank them for doing such a great job lighting those candles and for their nice words. We rejoice in God's faithfulness into the past and into the now. We rejoice that our lives are made new each day through the joy of our salvation. I invite you to pray with me. Everlasting God, we rejoice because of your love for us from the very beginning of time. We rejoice that your love renews our hearts and transforms our thoughts. We rejoice in the chances to serve you and grow as we love one another. Continue to journey as Emmanuel with us, God with us, as we joyfully anticipate again the coming of our Savior and Lord into our lives and our world. Amen. Amen, indeed. So, I have a story for you today. It's called The Story of the Little Tree. Now, once a little tree started to grow, it grew among some very big and very important-looking trees. The little tree wondered if it would ever be big and important like the other trees were. And no matter how hard the little tree tried, never grew much bigger. One day, some men came and cut down one of the biggest trees. This will make a great ship, they said. Oh, I wish I could be a great ship traveling over the world, said the little tree. Then men came and cut another of the big trees. This will make a fine building, they said. Oh, I wish I could be a grand and fine building, said the little tree. But no one came to make the little tree into something wonderful. Then some men came. This tree will do, they said, as they cut down a little tree and trimmed off its branches. I wonder what I will be, said the little tree. The men shaped two pieces of wood out of little tree and they fit them together to make a cross. The little tree was carried by a gentle man to a hill near Jerusalem, 
And there they nailed the kind man to the cross made out of the little tree. This is not what I wanted to be, the, to be, the little tree said. Everyone will hate what I have become. The kind man died on the little tree cross. And many cried over him and took him to a burial place. On the third day, the tomb was empty. Do you know who it was who died on that little tree? It was Jesus. He died on the cross and rose from the tomb to bring us forgiveness for our sins and a promise of life with him forever. The little tree thought people would hate what he had become. But even to this day, we have crosses like those here in the church that you can come and see. And crosses like those that people wear on necklaces or earrings or jewelry. The cross reminds us of what Jesus did for us. And the little tree has become a famous sign of God's love and Jesus' death and resurrection for us. Jesus is called a branch that came from King David's family. He was a branch that many thought would amount to nothing. But he became the most important person in the world, for the world, the one who brought life and light to a people who sat in darkness. Jesus is the branch that God promised, the branch that saves us. We can remember what Jesus did when we see a cross. That cross reminds us of Jesus and the branch that Jesus was, bringing a promise of life and light. Now, if you notice, in the stained glass window behind me, which is the one that we featured last week as Jesus as Good Shepherd, there's also a spot in there where there's a branch with a leaf on it. If you look to the side of the window where Jesus has the white cloth over his arm and he's holding the little sheep, if you look directly down below that, you'll see where that little branch and that leaf is. And that's a reference for Jesus um, as the branch that came from King David's family, that branch of Jesse. Now at the end of the video, I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see it if you can't see it very well now. But I thought it was really cool. So when you come to church, you can look at that window and you can find that branch with that leaf and know that that's the reminder that Jesus is the branch that came from King David's family. And here, a lesson from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 1 through 5. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. What does that word abide mean? It came up a lot in our scripture today, the Gospel of John. Abide means to be inside of something, to live inside of something. And in our scripture, Jesus is encouraging us to live in him and to allow him to live in us so that we can share his love throughout the world. Bearing good fruit, bringing more people to know Jesus, that's what bearing good fruit means. I invite you to do that. And remember that all you do is because Jesus loves us so much and gives us and empowers us with his love. At this time, I'm going to invite you to pray the Lord's Prayer with me. I'm going to say a line, and then I'll, I'll be silent for a little bit to give you a chance to repeat it after me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, before we go a little bit further, I wanted to show you what the craft is. If you look in your Sunday school kits, you'll see a little pot, and you'll see a bag with some dirt and some grass seed in it, and a picture of a little sheep. And I invite you to look at your instructions for how to put it together, but you're going to um, plant some grass seed for the, that will represent the field of Bethlehem. And you can color the little sheep also, and there's instructions on how to do that. And a reminder that we still have our competition for the gingerbread houses. We invite you to decorate those and take some pictures and send them in so that we can vote. Also, what we're doing is we're collecting uh, non-perishable foods, that means like canned goods and boxed foods, that we can donate to Samaritan House for the folks who um, struggle and need some food this time of the year. So if you would like to bring some of those items to the church, you can contact us through the email or you can contact the church and leave a message or contact Megan or myself and let us know that you have something you would like to donate and I'm sure we would be more than happy to have those items and collect them here um, from you at some point. Either pick them up off your porch or you can drop them off here at the church. Also, stay tuned for some information on Stations of the Nativity and Stations of Advent that we're going to be offering for our families and for our youth. Stations of Advent will be for our youth, and that will be downstairs of the church uh, December 20th through January 2nd, as well as Stations of the Nativity that will be available to walk through here at the church again December 20th through January 2nd. We're going to have sign-ups so that you and your families can come and experience each of those stations uh, and prayerfully um, walk your way through to hear again the stories of the nativity, nativity and Advent. I'm Pastor D. I thank you so much for joining us for our worship time today, and I hope you have a really terrific day and you can share God's love with one another. Take care. Go in peace to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. But don't go too far. I'm going to zoom in on that window. So just hang on one second. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to zoom in. And as promised, you can see that branch and the leaves right there to the left of your screen right below that white cloth that jesus is using holding his lamb so every time you come to church you can look for that that branch and those leaves a reminder of who jesus is and his lineage take care everybody have a great day bye